This is a demo on how to use the HDDVR with DISH Network and we have a 622, same as a 722, the little less hard drive and uh, we're hooked up through an HDMI cable and have the closed captioning turned on. So with uh, either with this remote or the black one you may have, the button configuration's all still the same and you can change a channel one of four different ways by pushing the channel number like that and or arrowing up or down above the select buttons like that or while you're on a channel you can hit the right arrow button and that will bring up a see-through banner on the bottom there that you can navigate your channels while you're still watching your show when you find one you want to go to hit select and we're on our way. Most commonly people use the guide button. So when we hit the guide button, first the guide comes up, you have video and sound in the corner. You have an info screen, you got time and date and above that it's on all HD. If I hit the guide button again, we're going to toggle through the different guides that we have set up. So now if I hit it again, we're going to go to uh, a favorites list that was set up or all channels or all subscribed. So out of the box your receiver is going to have all subscribed, all channels and all HD. So on all subscribed it's only going to show you things that you have access to. And in this guide you can arrow up and arrow down through the channels. Or you can use the page buttons to go up and down a sheet at a time. So I'm going to go cruise up through there and as you can see we are seeing nothing but blue in the left and both HD and non-HD. If I hit the button again we're going to go to all HD and we're only going to have access to the HD channels. If we go to all channels we'll not only have HD and standard definition but we'll also be able to see things that we don't have access to in our programming package and as you can see we have most everything on our showroom account. If there's something that you don't have on your in your package it'll be either green or red on the left like whatever the channel that is. So also in the guide you can push a number I push two it'll take me to two or I can arrow to the right and see what's on later or arrow to the left and come back to now. So in the guide, these are your DVR buttons, and while you're in this guide, right now we're at 5.30 on Friday the 25th. If I hit the skip forward button, that increases us by 24 hours. So now we're at Saturday at 5.30, and then Sunday and Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, and we can go out nine days like that. We can skip back in 24-hour increments with the skip back button. So... If you want to go to a show, you just hit select and it'll take you there. Now while you're on a channel, the DVR buttons, you can just push pause. So we froze in a good spot there. We're clicking off time as you can see. That's how many seconds we're getting away from live TV. So going over the DVR button, skip forward goes ahead in 30 second increments. Skip back goes back in 10, rewind and fast forward, and the more times you hit them, the faster you go. You got play here, and then you got record. So we've gone 28 seconds, so if I hit play, it resumes from where we left off. So we have a 30 second buffer here, so if I skip forward 30 seconds, it puts us to live TV and it indicates that on the right hand corner. Now if I want to record, there's two different, well a couple different ways I record. I can just hit the record button. So it brings up something down here. We have a dual tuner box. We have a TV1 and a TV2. So we have two live feeds of TV. One for TV1 which is, which is an HD feed coming from the box in either red, blue, green or red, white or HDMI or red, white and yellow. And a TV2 feed that's going to the second TV that's a coax feed. Typically the second TV is then modulated to channel 60 or 73. So either air 60 or cable 73 is what your TV in the other room is hooked to and you got a number two remote in there 
that speaks to this box through a UHF antenna. That's how that works. So again, if I hit record, I can either record this to TV1 or to TV2. So if I hit select on TV2 and hit OK, it'll record that to TV2. So right down here on the box, there's a green light, and then there would be a blue light if TV2 were on. The red light next to TV2 just came on because I sent that recording there. And we're currently, the le furthest left hand light is either single mode or dual mode. Right now we're in dual mode, meaning we could, if we wanted to, watch something live here and something else live there. So the other way to record is to go back to our guide and find the channel that's not on yet to set a recording. So we want uh, Never Home at 5 o'clock for the news, and I always want to watch it when I get home. So I hit select, it brings this screen up. So this screen, you can. this is always your navigation, so I arrow over and hit select on one of these buttons, usually once, all new episodes, or all episodes, meaning you're going to get reruns and repeats. So I'm going to do all new episodes, then I'm going to hit create timer, and it'll set that recording up for me. I probably didn't want to, but we can always cancel it. So it's set to record on TV1 at 5 o'clock. Most all boxes by default record the first uh, channel on TV2. So there must be something else that's going to record that interrupts that 5 o'clock time frame. So then the second thing that's going to record will record on, on TV1. And then to get to your recordings, we hit the DVR button twice. So the first time brings you here, which is Dish On Demand. And then we want to go to My Recordings. So in My Recordings, we have a list of all of the channels that we have recorded and what our time is. So on a 722, you got 350 hours of standard and 55 of HD. The old things roll off as you record new things. So right now that Dr. Phil that I set to record is recording and there's two minutes of it there. I can, from either TV, select anything that I want to record off this hard drive and start it anytime I want. So for us, we just record everything. We never watch anything live. And then I'm able to skip through commercials and get right to the show like I just did here with FX and Justified. So um, if I hit over here the menu button brings up this menu. Couple things in here that is helpful. The theme and search, locks if you want to do parental controls, and preferences if you want to um, set up a favorites list like we have. So first theme and search, if I go here I can say I want uh, sports, so I got a theme and then I'll pick a sub theme and right now I'm all about racing. So I'm going to get results and here's where I can go in, it'll bring all racing results. So I can set it up to record all the NASCAR events over the next nine days. And if I do all new, ep all new episodes I don't have to worry about whether things are going to get recorded or not. But as you can see, all we have available to us in here, because of our search criteria, is racing. And if I wanted to hit that, I could record that once, and hit Create Timer, and it's going to record at that time for us. And then be in our DVR. So a couple of the other things real quick, locks, if we click on this. Um, you can go ratings, channel, front panel, you can... You need to create a four-digit code here, and then you can lock pay-per-view or adult. So if you have young kids in the house, it might be a good thing to do. The book that you're left with has instructions on how to do all of these things that I'm showing you. Preferences, um, and then favorites. And in preferences, you can set there's a screensaver that comes on. You can increase that time or decrease it. By default, it downloads at 3 a.m. You can switch that to the afternoon or whenever you want. So if we hit favorites, we got uh, all channels, all subscribed, all HD. And down here under the pink or whatever one is Brooke. 
So if I wanted to make another list, I just select that, go to Modify List, select the channels that I want in it. I can edit the name and name it whatever I want. And then that'll be just another sequence in that toggle through of guides that we, we see. So we're going to cancel out of here. Now this is a Dish Interactive button. So if we go to the Dish Interactive, this is going to bring up a screen that's going to have a web-like feel to it. And it's going to have six different live shows. You can toggle from one to the other. It changes the audio. But down below, there's customer service, um, CNN Enhanced is good, uh, ESPN Interactive. Um, there's some games. Um, you can check your billing, billing statements and some, a few things in here. So as you see, the yellow squares toggling from one to the other. The audio is changing. And down here, customer service. Here's our customer support uh, tech help center. And there's news. you got weather right there. CNN Enhanced and Shopping, Sports, Games, Entertainment. So back to Sports and ESPN Interactive. Let's go in there. It takes a while to load and it's going to give us a live screen of ESPN. You can switch that screen to ESPN 1, 2, or News. It's going to give you NFL, NBA, NHL. Um, and you can, with the arrow button, toggle through these different things. So. MLB, let's look at the NBA and see who the Blazers are going to play tonight. And, um, Portland plays Denver tonight at 10.30 p.m. Eastern, so 7.30, got a Blazer game. Grab tickets and go to it. There's a little ticker that uh, has a little thing on trades and the deadlines and uh, information and TV listings on what's going to be on what channel. So in the interactive we can get in here several layers deep and cancel. We'll take whatever you're in back one space. View live TV while you're in this interactive. Well, if I hit that like I just did, it'll bounce us all the way out to whatever live channel we were on. So there we are. Uh, one, Two more things. First, uh, the dish on demand. By hitting the DVR button we go there. So I have set this box up with a sling link plugged into the wall hooked to a router that's hooked to an internet connection, preferably high speed. Um, Clear works great for that. If we go to Dish Cinema, we got new releases, special offers, explore movies, search movies. There's both pay-per-view events in here and free content, much like the Comcast On Demand. Um, except with the satellite, it happens through the internet. So we've got most popular TV shows, search TV shows, so let's just click on something. You can break it down from ratings or HD or release date. And then, um, so let's go down, Selling New York, I don't even know. Jersey Shore is probably what everybody's watching, but Selling New York, it brings up and you want to pay attention to the fact that it's free. So if it has a dollar amount, you might want to reconsider. And you can control that through your parental controls. So if I hit watch, and then SD free, and watch now, it'll start downloading to the hard drive. And it'll buffer so that it'll be an uninterrupted viewing of that show. And it took just, uh, see it's buffering the video. And it'll do that little green line will cruise across there and then the show will start so that's how easy it is to use the, the dish on demand so there we go so if I hit the DVR button once and then I hit it twice I'm going to go to my recordings so I can go back and finish that justified and if something's recording on my tuner right here there'll be a red button next to it I can either watch anything or on, on, on demand or anything on my hard drive. So on TV2, if something's recording, the same thing applies. Um, right here we're in dual mode, and over here I took this door off, um, and there's a mode button. If I hit the mode button, it switches us to single mode. So in single mode, we have picture-in-picture -picture buttons. So because it's a dual tuner box, I now can use the picture-in-picture -picture features 
utilizing both tuners on one TV, making TV2 a mirror image of what's happening here. So there's a picture in picture, hit it again, it's bigger, hit it again, it's side by side, and then it's gone. So I can also position this around to wherever I want, and I can swap them, essentially making the other screen the active screen. So then I can change the channel on the active screen. So I end up going to the Oprah Winfrey show, and then I can switch back. So if I hit picture and picture a couple times, takes it off and I'm back to my recording on the DVR justified. If I hit the mode button, I swap back to dual mode. So I'm back over here on dual mode. I got TV1 and TV2 are both on. And that pretty much concludes everything about using the HD DVR with Dish Network. And I will follow with a bunch more videos on troubleshooting and how to program the remote to the TV. And we will also cover direct TV equipment as well. So I appreciate you watching and I hope that helps.